Hello students, welcome to another session. Today we are going to take the NEET test 61 that has arrived today. Okay, I have just solved it. The paper is not tough. I have regarded only one question as tough which is actually a question asked from JE Advanced and the answer the language is slightly modified and I don't agree with the answer that is given. Otherwise, uh, what we have, the majority questions are easy and medium. So you need not to lie. I'm not counting it. You can make it out. The paper is not that tough. And also there's a question 43, which has also been asked in JME in the answers given in the books. Generally, I don't agree. So you can take your choice. For me, the answer given is wrong. So you will, by the way, you will get that the same answer in almost all the sources at your level, but I don't agree. So overall paper was easy. It was not that tough. It was not that lengthy. You can easily do that. So again, the, for the average student, the score should be 135 plus and for good students, it should be 160 plus in this particular paper. So let's start. So first question, the ratio of minimum to maximum wavelength in Balmer series of hydrogen atom. So what is the Balmer series? That is the second series. The minimum corresponds to infinity to two and the maximum corresponds to 2 to, uh, sorry, 3 to 2. Okay, so this 1 upon lambda minimum would be equals to R 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon infinity square. This 1 upon lambda max corresponds to R 1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon 2 square. So if I have to take the ratio, I'll do, do the reverse one. So what will I have? Lambda min to lambda max. R and R get cancelled, it would be 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 2 square upon 1 by 2 square minus 1 by infinity square. So if I do this, uh, this is 1 by 9 minus 1 by 4, this comes out as 5 by 36, this is 1 by 4. So basically it comes out as 5 is to 9. So go for option A. Next, two particles of mass m and 2m have their position vectors as a function of time as R1 is this, R2 is this. Which of the, of the following graphs represents the path of the CM? Okay, so what would be the path of the CM? First of all, RCM, that is M into R1. This is Ti cap minus T cube J cap plus 2T square K cap plus 2M into what we have Ti cap minus T cube J cap minus T square K cap divided by 3M. So if I do what I get, 3M Ti cap above minus 3M T cube J cap above and I will get this T square factor K cap get cancelled divided by 3M. So that is T I cap minus T cube J cap. That is what I can write. So X coordinate I can write as let me take the pencil again. Okay. X coordinate is T. Y coordinate is minus T cube. So I can write Y is equal to minus X cube. So of the available option only D appears to be the correct one doing this showing this relationship okay next one particle of mass m rotates in a circle of radius a with a uniform angular speed omega naught it is viewed from a frame rotating about the z-axis with an angular speed omega the centrifugal force on the particle is so because it is viewed from a frame which is going with uniform speed omega about the z-axis I'm assuming that is also the z-axis. So the pseudo force would be the simply or pseudo force or here what you call it is the centrifugal force will depend only on the acceleration due to this frame which would be omega square a. So that is m omega square a outwards. So that would be the force m omega square a omega naught will have no role because the frame viewing frames acceleration will be the important or its angular speed is important. Next, the velocity time graph of a particle moving along a straight line is as shown the rate of acceleration and retardation of both are constant that is 5 if the average velocity is 20 then the maximum velocity is again you have the same thing because this time is t you can directly say this time is also t because the time taken to go from 0 to v max will be same as v max to 0 assuming at acceleration and retardation both are same so because it was 5 this value is 5t okay so now what we have we can directly write what directly what we can write is uh, the area area is the distance that is half into the gap 5t into sum sum this will be what I can have 20 plus t that above side that I can write it as 20 minus t okay so we have to do the sum that should be equal to the total distance covered which is equal to average speed 20 into time 20 plus t so this this get okay not not cancelled uh, let me do this yes 
so what we have now uh, take that this becomes 40 into 20 plus t here what i have 15 to uh, what we have simply t and t get cancelled so it is 40 okay so this 40 40 goes so 5t is 20 plus t so now what we have now from where we can find out t is equal to 5 seconds so that's an easy one so now vmax you said was 5t that is equals to 25 meter per second so not a tough one if you just go by the basics so option b is the appropriate one next one if a wire of resistance R is melted, okay, that means recasted to half of its length. So whenever it is melted, what do you say? Volume is constant and you know in this case, volume is, uh, sorry, the resistance is not proportional to L, it's proportional to L square. So because length is half, the new resistance will be R by 4. This is a very common concept. You all do this. So be aware. Even the NTSC students of class can do such concept. Two conducting loops of radius R1 and R2 are placed in the same plane with center coinciding. If R1 is greater than R2, the mutual inductance then will be directly. R1 is greater than R2, so let us be R1 and let it be R2. So let's assume current I in it and calculate the flux in it. Assuming this R2 is very, very small, the field will be at due to the center. So flux in the inner one due to the 1, 1, 5, 2, 1, I can write what I can write. Mu naught, let's call it I1, I1 upon 2 R1 into the area that is pi R2 square that would be equals to m times i1 so i1 i1 get cancelled so m is r2 square by, so not r1 square by r2 this is r2 square the inner one radius square upon the outer radius power 1 r2 square by r1 you must have done such in your board examinations as well the magnitude and direction of the electric field at point p can be best represented by let me see this plus q plus q symmetry you can make it out because this is x this is x this angle is 45 this angle is 45 so these lengths will be equal these lengths are equal so the field due to this and this get cancelled so net field is only due to this and it would be outwards like this so what i can make out this angle is what you have done this is 45 degrees so it would be at i cap plus j cap type direction uh, plus by root 2 that is the direction that you will have i plus j should come divided by root 2 so you have to find the magnitude also so what is the magnitude i can directly say i will say k into 3q and because this is x and this angle is 90 and both are equal so i can directly say this distance would be equal to x by root 2 so x by root 2 whole square i can directly write into the direction vector that is i cap plus j cap divided by root 2 that is the unit vector along the direction so what we have now i can write it as 6 kq upon x square into i cap plus j cap hey, one minute what is happening okay i cap plus j cap by root 2 so this would be 3 root 2 kq square kq by x square so 3 root 2 kq by x square i cap plus j cap go for option d here next one the two balls of radius r each are placed at a distance r and release the speed of each ball when they collide so whenever they are colliding first of all the final distance between their centers is going to be 2r so the potential energy change i can simply write ki plus ui is kf plus uf taking them as a system initial k is zero initial u is minus gm square by r finally it would be potential energy would be minus gm square by 2r and the kinetic energy of both due to symmetry is same let's say two times half mv square i can write let v be the speed of each so what we have m m m get cancelled what we will have gm common what we'll have 1 upon 2r minus 1 upon r would be equals to v square simply so v is equal to root gm small m okay so this would be okay going by this result it is 1 by 2r minus 1 by r so 1 by r minus 1 by 2r and with the negative sign so write it in this way take it as minus gm it would be 1 by r minus 1 by 2r that is option that I find to be most appropriate. So go for option B. Yes, B is given. Next. A black body of temperature T is inside a chamber of temperature T. Not, not the closed chamber is slightly open to the sun such the temperature of the body and the chamber remains constant. This is an important question that has already been asked in JE. Once time JE advanced, I mean IIT JE. Black body will absorb more radiation. Okay. Now the closed chamber is slightly open to the sun such that the temperature of the booth remains constant then black body will absorb more radiation. Yes, definitely now the more radiations are coming so it will absorb more. It will absorb less is wrong. 
it will emit more energy is wrong because the energy emission depends on its temperature it will emit the same energy will emit energy equal to energy absorbed by it this is not going to be right this is right only when t is equals to t naught so this is the way here the black the black body will absorb more radiation but won't radiate more that means its temperature should increase but the question says that the temperature of the chamber remains constant so because they are remaining constant actually the j question was it was maintained constant so it was maintained constant means it should have some cooling system now in this language the question becomes quite uh, confusing i am going by the original j e question where it is it's written that the temperature of the black body remains con constant instead of remains constant it is made constant so there should be some cooling arrangement which will taking out this extra heat absorbed out of the body so i'll still go for option a i won't go for option d in this particular case now question 10 For the adiabatic expansion of a perfect mono gas, where volume increases by 20%, 24%, what is the percentage decrease in pressure? Okay, 24% is a big change. Always remember this thing. Okay, so what we will have for a mono atomic gas, we can write P V to the power 5 by 3 is constant. So what I can say P naught V naught to the power 5 by 3 is P final V final is 24% increase. That is 1.24 to the power 5 by 3. So P final is going to be what we can say P naught times. 1 upon 1.24 to the power 5 by 3. Okay, and uh, 1.24 I can write it as 100 upon 124 to the power 5 by 3. And uh, from the table of uh, 4, this is 25 by 31. So I got what I wanted. The data is given. That is 0.7 p naught. So it has remained 70% of what it was. That means it has decreased by 30%. Go for option B. So calculation was given to you. You have to use it. Next. charged particle moving in a uniform magnetic field penetrates a layer of lead and therefore loses one half of the kinetic energy the radius of curvature of the path so loses one half of the kinetic energy so the radius of curvature we say r is proportional to root k so kinetic energy becomes half the radius becomes 1 by root 2 so go for option b don't get confused by the language not that the so next uh, goes to 12th A boat which has a speed of 5 kmph in still water, that is, with respect to river, crosses a river of width 1 km with the shortest possible path in 15 minutes. The velocity of the river water is the shortest possible path. You know, is when it goes like this, so it will go somewhere here. This is velocity of river, and this is velocity of boat in ground frame. This is VBR. This is VR. So in that case, you know, VB is equal to VBR square minus VR square. So the time taken would be the distance 1 km and divided by vb so that is 15 minutes 15 minutes you can write it as 1 by 4 hr so vb comes out to be 4 km per hr so vb is 4 vbr is 5 so you can make out from the right triangle vr would be 3 km per hr directly you can do so go for option a next one a cyclist turned around at a curve at 15 miles per hr if he turns at double the speed the tendency to overturn is because the friction requirement depend on this v square so the requirement of friction becomes four times so the tendency you can also say is quadrupled in that particular sense because friction provides a necessary force that is mv square by r so that force requirement is becoming four times next if a simple pendulum oscillates with an amplitude of 50 mm and time period this then the maximum velocity is so what we can say what is the maximum velocity So linear velocity you can directly write because linear amplitude is given. We can write it as omega a. That is 2 pi by 2 into a. A is 50 mm, 15 into 10 to the power minus 3. So what you have? Uh, this will become 0.05 pi. So 0.05 pi means 0.05 into 3.14. So you can now make it out. It would be approximately 0.15 meter per second from the given data. Nothing else will match it up. Next. In the photoelectric emission process from a metal of work function, this is the kinetic energy of most elect energetic electron. Is this the corresponding stopping potential? Is because it is 1.8, this is 0.5. So the stopping potential, K max is given. Stopping potential would be 0.5. This is what now the easiest thing you can do. Next, the SI unit of uh, coefficient of viscosity is. So you know coefficient of viscosity. I can again write it as minus nita a dv by dy or dv by dx whatever you write 
so this is the force which is Newton this is the area which is meter square this is distance that is meter that is meter per second so what you can get now so Newton into second per meter square go for option A next a ray traveling in the direction half times i plus root 3j is incident on a plane mirror after reflection the ray travels along the direction the angle of incidence is. so looking carefully you can see only this component is reversing x is remaining same that means the normal to the mirror is along y axis okay so this the mirror is along the x axis you can say or it is perpendicular to y axis that is what you can make it out now i plus root 3j let me have it this is x and let me this is y i plus root 3j that means the 10 theta i plus root 3j means that if i draw this is 1 by 2 i or you can say i and this would be root 3j so if i take this and if i draw this let's say this is 1 and this is root 3 so what i can make it out the angle with this this is the normal angle i need so this angle theta i can directly say 10 theta is 1 by root 3 that is 30 degree so it means it comes 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 like that at an angle of 30 degrees and when it goes again this would be 1 and minus root 3 that is above and in our, in our case so again you will check it out this angle would be 30 that is angle of incidence is angle of reflection it goes like this so 30 and 30 so the angle of incidence is you have directly first of all calculated why I was calculating other thing I don't know this is 30 degree for sure next cylinder rolls down an inclined plane of inclination 30 degree the acceleration of cylinder is because it is rolling directly you know ACM would be g sin theta by beta and beta for cylinder assuming solid cylinder it would be 3 by 2 if you take it to be what we can write uh, that uh, hollow then it becomes 2 but uh, generally cylinder means solid one g sin theta that is 10 into 1 by 2 sin 30 divided by 3 by 2 so that is 10 by 3 so g by 3 you can make it out option a next transistor is used as a common emitter amplifier with a load resistance this input resistance this base current is changed by this which results in the change in collector current so this data will give you beta beta ac or beta what you can say delta ic by delta ev 1.5 milli milli means 10 to power minus 3 upon 20 micro so what you have you have 1500 by 20 so you have this as 75 so what is the voltage gain you all are aware beta rc by rb that is 75 RC is uh, 2 kilo ohms that is 2000 upon 150 this is 2 so this comes out as 1000 so the voltage gain is 1000 again an easy one not that tough one a point near the equator has H and V are horizontal and vertical components of earth magnetic field so near the equator what you all remember because near the equator that means the magnetic equator we are talking about let's say this is the dipole uh, what we have like uh, generally it's point uh, like this and this is a magnetic equator so because it is on the axial position the field will be like this that means it is horizontal the vertical component is zero or you can say the actual equator if you take we will have the horizontal component would be much much more than the vertical one because vertical will tending to zero or it would be very very small you can make it out next the dimensional formula of mu naught epsilon this is one of the easiest one you all remember 1 upon mu naught epsilon naught root is equal to c so mu naught 1 upon mu naught epsilon naught equal to c square so that is the mu naught epsilon naught is speed inverse speed is what speed square inverse speed square is l square t minus 2 it would be inverse of that so l minus 2 t2 go for option a next one for interference pattern the maximum minimum intensity ratio is 64 is to 1 what will be the ratio of the amplitude now I max upon I min you all know that is equal to a1 plus a2 upon a1 minus a2 assuming a1 to be greater whole square so what we have this is given as 64 is to 1 so let me rewrite as a1 by a2 plus 1 upon a1 by a2 minus 1 and take the root that would be 8 is to 1 so what we have now a1 by a2 plus 1 is 8 a1 by a2 minus 8 so what we have 7 a1 by a2 going there that is equal to 9 so a1 by a2 is 9 is to 7 or 7 is to 9 is to 7 you can say and better you can say 9 is to 7 7 is to 9 is also given but 9 is to say I don't agree with giving such options but let let's try this is 9 is to 7 that is what we can go for next a transverse wave is described by the equation this the maximum particle velocity is equal to four times the wave velocity first of all what is the wave velocity the wave velocity is omega by k or you can directly say lambda f you all know 
and what is the particle velocity vp max vp max is omega a so omega is what 2 pi f into a means y naught now this is four times so 2 pi f into y naught is equal to 4 f lambda so ff goes so what we have lambda is equal to pi y naught by 2 so going by the given options go by option d that is appropriate for me next one body 10 kg moving on horizontal surface by a force of 10 and forward the body moves with constant velocity 0.2 work done by the force of friction so simply that means it is constant velocities of friction force is also 10 newton that is kinetic will be acting work done would be the distance covered distance covered is vt that will come out as 2 meter so work done by friction would be minus 10 into 2 that is minus 20 joule so again not a tough one just understand the language and proceed the acceleration of electron in the first orbit of hydrogen atom is okay so what would be the acceleration of the electron in the first orbit so you are given in terms of this uh, radius also so first of all you know from the Bohr model mvr is nh by 2 pi so velocity can be written as nh upon 2 pi mr and what is acceleration centripetal acceleration you will be talking about v square that is n square h square upon 4 pi square m square and this will become r cube so going by the option which is on the first means n is equal to 1 so go for option c that is the appropriate one next one bullet of mass m leaves a gun of mass capital m kept on a smooth surface the speed of the bullet relative to the gun is v then the magnitude of the recoil velocity so relative to the gun so let's say gun goes with vr so it is relative to that is v so with respect to ground it would be v minus vr because both are in opposite direction relative velocity will be more now its momentum its momentum must be same so small m into v minus vr forward is equal to capital m into vr backwards so what is vr vr you can write as mv upon m plus m that is what you can write you have done such questions many many times i suppose go for b next now the next one a chain of 125 lengths is 1.25 meter long has a mass of 2 kg with the ends fastened together it is set for rotating at 50 revolutions per second the centripetal force on each link first of all what is the mass of the link the mass of the length would be 2 upon 125 and because length would be turned into the loop so length is 2 pi r so radius comes out as 1.25 by 2 pi now force on the link would be equal to m of link into omega square into r so 2 by 125 omega square 50 revolution per second that is 50 into 2 pi radian per second that is 100 pi whole square into radius radius is what you are getting 1.25 upon 2 pi so this is 100 this 2 2 goes so 1 upon 100 pi into 100 pi whole square 100 pi into 100 pi this goes 100 pi is 314 this is the question that is generally given in the sheet of institutes our students are also given this question in exercise next a ball is dropped from a certain height on a horizontal floor the coefficient of restitution between the floor and the wall is half the displacement time graph so what you will have because it is dropped so when it goes down we know it is parabolic it is going to be parabolic so as per the diagram it is taken downward as positive so first it will be parabolic and speed will increase so it would be a graph like this not like this not like this so we are left with only uh, one choice i can say this is c rest all choices are not possible it does, cannot go to more height and it cannot go in the same direction those are false so go for option c so just looking at the option it becomes easy for us resistance is 1 2 3 are connected to form a triangle if 1.5 cell of negligible resistance is connected across 3 ohm the current flowing is so what we have this is 1 ohm this is 2 ohm this is 3 ohm 1 2 3 connect a cell 1.5 so this is in series 3 3 and 3 1.5 1.5 so current flowing through the this resistor through the battery will be 1 ampere and because both arms are equal so half will be divided so 1 1 ampere is half half is divided so 0 0.5 0 0.5 goes in both the arms so all three resistors will have a current of 0.5 ampere next one current in a coil of 40 milli henry is increased uniformly from 1 to 11 4 milliseconds and used what is the formula e magnitude i am directly writing delta i by delta t di by dt l is 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 what is the change change is 10 in 4 milli 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 goes this is 10 10 100 okay so it would be a 100 volt of emf would be induced if current is changed that fast in this particular inductor next 
charges is played at the vertices of square if charges A and B are interchanged with C and D. This question has come, I suppose, if the charges are replaced, AB is changed with C and D, you know the potential remains the same because still that net charge KQ by R that is zero, so potential will remain zero. It is not asking for potential, okay? For the magnetic electric field, first of all, see, in this case, the field due to this one, the field, now due to plus Q, it would be like there minus Q also. So both would be let's say 2 times E and here will be 2 times E. So the direction will be like this. And if you reverse plus Q plus Q minus Q minus Q, the same thing will be now here. 2 times there, 2 times there and the net field will be like this. So direction will reverse but from symmetry the magnitude won't change. So what will have option C. So we have done this question before the 30 second. Two particles of same mass m go around a circle of radius r under the action of their mutual gravitational attraction, the speed of each particle. Okay. So both are going in a circle of radius r, that means the gap is 2r. So if I see the force, let's say both will be going like this. So the force would be gm square by 4r square is equal to m v square by r. I can write it like this, like it is this, 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 this. So V comes out as root GM by 4R, I can write it. So as per the option, the correct one seems to be the C one. Next one. Following graph shows the variation in the intensity of heat radiation by the black body and frequency at a fixed temperature. Choose the correct option. Okay. So with the frequency, the curve is given again. This is a repeated one. You know, uh, for the lambda curve, you are very much familiar. E lambda versus lambda that curve was something something like this okay now here what you have done you have to draw it with the help of the frequency so with the help of frequency here you know as the temperature increases the curve the curve let me redraw as the what do you say the frequency the temperature was increased you had this the lambda m keeps on decreasing so it goes like this the peak shifts here but here for the frequency what you will have on increasing the temperature the wavelength decreases so frequency will increase so that lambda m should increase with the temperature which is not happening here it is same it is same here it somewhat is seen and here it is not seen so as per the option only c is there where lambda m keeps on increasing with the increase in temperature so i'll go for option c none else so just you have to take the by this uh, wien's law that is what you call it next for a gas R by CV is 0.4, where R is the universal gas constant, CV is uh, more or less The gas is made of molecules which are, so that means CV is R upon 0.4 simply. So that is 10 by 4R, that is 5R by 2, you know CV is 5R2 by 2 for diatomic gases or you can say for the rigid diatomic gases because if you take non-rigid, it becomes 7R by 2. Now, the magnetic field at the center of the hydrogen like atom due to the motion of an electron in nth orbit is proportional to again so what we write the formula is mu naught i by 2 r now i is proportional to what we know v by r because i what you write as e by t t is 2 pi r by thus b is going to be proportional to what i is v by r upon r so it is proportional to v by r square now v is proportional to z by n r is proportional to n square by z you all know so b would be proportional to v that is z by n r square becomes n to the power 4 by z square so it becomes z cube by n to the power 5 so you go for option d so this is how you will do next two bodies at projected angle theta and 90 minus theta with the same speed the ratio of the time of flight you know the ranges will be same what about the time of flight the first one t1 would be 2u sine theta by g for the second one, it would be 2u sine of 90 minus theta. I can directly write cos theta by g. So t1 by t2 is sine upon cos. So go for option C. Nothing else. Easy one for you. Next. Three identical blocks. Mass m along a frictionless table. F is acting. Which of the following is false? Okay. The net vertical force on block A is 0. That is right. Net flow force on block A. What we can say directly acceleration would be because both will go together f by 3m. So net force on any one would be equals to f by 3m a. So this is right. The acceleration of block C is F by 3M. That is also right. So what we have, the wrong one is going to be the force of interaction between A and B. It is not going to be F by 3. For B, A and B, take B and C as a system. So this force on B due to A is the only external force that would be equal to total mass 2M 
into a and it becomes 2m into a a means f by 3m so that is 2f by 3 so d1 is the correct option for us because it is the wrong option only 37 38 what is the time period of pendulum hanged in satellite you know in satellite we have g effective to be 0 and g effective 0 means it won't oscillate so time period is infinite you can directly say that's a cool concept that must have been told to you next sodium and copper have work function this then the ratio of the threshold wavelength so what we know f is equal to hc by lambda naught so the ratio of the threshold wavelength lambda 1 naught upon lambda 2 naught would be equal to phi 2 by phi 1 so phi 2 by phi 1 means 4.5 upon 2.3 okay so 4.5 upon 2.3 so 45 by 23 so if i go by 45 by 23 nearest will be 2 is to 1 you can say nothing else the closest is 2 is to 1 next when one end of the capillary is dipped in water the height of the water column is h the upward force is 105 dyne due to surface tension is balanced by force due to the weight of the water column the inner circumference of the capillaries that means you have to find the radius so first of all convert into SI units that would be better for us so for dyne you must have learned something that is 10 to the power minus 5 newton so this is the force now surface tension T or S whatever you write is 7 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton now the force that acts on the circumference is 2 pi RS or 2 pi RT that would be equal to this force so this is the circumference is asked so that is equal to F by T so 2 pi R is F by T what is F 105 into 10 to the power minus 5 up. Uh, let me do it 10 to the power minus 5 okay upon 7 7 is 15 15 into 10 to the power minus 5 that is what we are getting minus 5. okay 7 into 10 to the power minus 2 sorry so it comes out as uh, let me do it again this is 15 into 10 to the power minus uh, what it comes 10 to the power minus 3 and this is in meters so for centimeters it would be uh, it is what you can say uh, for centimeters gender it is 1.5 centimeter go for option a then next an object is placed at a distance of 20 centimeter from the pole of a mirror of length right? the distance of the images so u comes out to be minus 20 and concave mirror you know for concave mirror focal length is negative minus 10 so what will have the formula for the mirror 1 by v plus 1 by u equals 1 by f put the value 1 minus 1 by 20 this is why 1 by minus 10 1 by v comes out as minus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20 so it comes out as 20 and it is minus 1 so v is minus 20 so v is what we have got v is minus 20 centimeters uh, actually we are fools we do did this it's clear it is at 2f so image will be at 2f so it would be minus 20 there's no point in doing this we have wasted time even next a particle is projected with a speed v at 45 degree with the horizontal the magnitude of angular moment of the projectile about the point of projection when it is at the maximum height. this is again a very common question it is thrown with 45 degree now at the highest point you can directly make the velocity would be equals to v by root 2 because x will be there and what we need to the angular momentum about this point of projection so this is velocity's line of action we need to find this perpendicular distance which is h so l would be m v by root 2 into h h is what we can write u y square by 2g and what is u y square that is again v by root 2 so that becomes v square by 2 upon 2g so what we have now m v q and it is 4 root 2g what is i can make it out okay directly you are written in terms of h so if it is in terms of h you can write as m v h by root 2 so it is more easy one i go for the regular question which comes so it was like that okay the middle of the depletion region of a reverse bias p n junction is okay electric field is zero potential is maximum electric field is maximum potential is zero now this is the question which i didn't understand many times because the answer the people gave is electric field is zero and i don't agree in the middle of the depletion region of a reversed bias p n junction we say the electric field is maximum that is what i go for actually that is not the middle that is basically what we say is the metallurgical junction if you study in the higher level semiconductor which you don't so electric field more appropriate for me is maximum here not it is going to be zero generally what we have electric field is zero near the when the depletion region meets the p side or the n side at that point the field is zero not in the middle so i'll go for c though the answers explanation you will find they say it to be a but i don't agree 
will come up with more better analogy in some other lectures but i'll i don't agree with a though though, though people give it the answer as a so i can't help for me it should be c now the next one 44th iron rod is placed parallel to magnetic field of intensity this the magnetic flux through the rod is this and its cross section area is this the magnetic permeability of the rod is okay so what we are given and this is given the magnetic flux is given cross sectional area is given okay so first of all what we can write this the permeability basically we can write as yes. permeability has to be find out now first of all it is placed parallel so i can write flux passing would be equal to b inside into area so inside field inside the rod would be phi by a. phi is 6 into 10 to the power minus 4 area is 3 cm square that is 10 to the power minus 4 so it comes out as 2 so what we can write this inside b as this b would be equal to mu times h so mu would be b by h so that is 2 upon 2000 so that comes out as 10 to the power minus 3 so go for option c here okay so c is the most appropriate one here next one the temperature at which the speed of sound in the air becomes double f its value of 27 so what we know that v is proportional to root of t so you have to make double so temperature will be 4 times 27 is 300 304 is 1200 kelvin 1200 kelvin minus 273 in celsius so that is 7 and this is what we have 972 this will be 11 and 2 what we have 927 so go for option b that is the appropriate one so this was the today's paper keep sharing the channel thank you all